Hi everybody. I've modeled this uh, Sriracha bottle in SketchUp. And what I want to do now is bring this into Adobe Dimension and apply some of the decals or apply some substance materials to this. The way I bring these SketchUp models into Dimension is fairly straightforward. If I were to jump over to Adobe Dimension, I've actually brought in one of these starter assets that comes with Adobe Dimension. Now, there might be times when I want to create my own geometry and SketchUp is a great place to do that. And I've done just that. I uh, modeled that Sriracha bottle. I'm gonna go into import and import that 3D model, point towards Sriracha, that file that I saved onto my desktop and bring it in. Now, what I wanna do is apply some decals to these models. So I'm gonna go into my libraries here where I've saved a SketchUp logo. I'm just gonna drag and drop it on top of the uh, Adobe stock model. And what you'll notice is that it applies to this model fairly easily. All I needed to do is drag and drop it. I can scale it. I can move it around on that bottle, etc. But what happens if I were to do the same thing on the freshly imported SketchUp model here? As I drop it on there, you'll notice that Dimension tells me that there is a graphic on there with that circle showing. And if I were to look towards my right here, it's also showing up under my model here, but it's not actually showing up in the viewport. What's happening here is that the UVs haven't been generated for this particular SketchUp model, and that's one of the reasons why it's not showing up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit that delete button and delete the decal out of there. Select that geometry that I just brought in and go under object and generate the UVs. Once I've generated the UVs, I'm gonna again go in and drag and drop that decal on there. Great, it's showing up. That's exactly what I wanted it to do. <clears throat> What I'll also do is, for the sake of posterity, I'm going to bring in that Sriracha logo, drag and drop it in there. Maybe it's going to be a tad lower um, on the bottle. Now I'm ready to go ahead and render this or apply some other backgrounds to this particular file and render it for my presentation. Thank you.